Everything about Rolex carries the stamp of one exceptional human being. Founder, pioneer, visionary. Hans Wilsdorf is synonymous with the philosophy of enduring excellence that is unique to Rolex. He was an entrepreneur and an altruist with a philanthropic spirit that goes far beyond watchmaking. Hans Wilsdorf was born in Bavaria in 1881. In an era when watches were pinned to garments or carried in pockets. Wristwatches were considered women's jewelry. Nobody thought it possible to make one robust enough for everyday use. But at just 24, fascinated by watch movements, Hans Wilsdorf ignored the doubts of his peers and began his campaign to make a wristwatch fit for the active lifestyles of the 20th century. In 1905, he started to work with a Swiss manufacturer who was producing unusually compact watch movements. These he took to London, where he fitted them into cases. This led to the establishment of his own company. After a long search, he later described how the name of his brand had come to him. One morning, while riding a London omnibus, a genie had whispered, Rolex, in his ear. A short word, easy to remember, and iconic. Within days, he had registered the trademark. In 1910, he received the first certificate for chronometric precision ever awarded to a wristwatch by the official watch rating center at Bien in Switzerland. Four years later, the internationally renowned Kew Observatory in London awarded it a Class A precision certificate, a distinction usually reserved for marine chronometers. In 1919, the company set up permanent operations in Geneva. Then, seven years later, Hans Wilsdorf presented the Rolex Oyster to the world, the very first waterproof wristwatch. The following year, in 1927, Mercedes Gleitz achieved fame as the first British woman to swim the English Channel, wearing an Oyster, which kept perfect time. Becoming Hans Wilsdorf's first brand testimony, she forged a path followed by hundreds of distinguished sportswomen and men, explorers and artists, all of them proudly embodying the same virtues as Rolex. Launched in 1931, the Oyster Perpetual, the company's first self-winding watch, was more than just a technological marvel. It was an exact expression of a perpetual spirit that would forever drive the company forward seeking continuous improvement through human potential and always pushing boundaries. The revered five-pointed crown stands as a symbol of Hans Wilsdorf's exhortation to produce nothing but beautiful work. He insisted each new watch should be an ambassador of quality. In his words, what has been achieved in the past serves to strengthen my faith in the future and my conviction that the fame of Rolex will prove worthy of the position it has won in the world. A man of profound idealism, Hans Wilsdorf's considerable legacy allowed Rolex to act as a perpetual force for good by supporting those who strive to make the world a better place. He left an unwavering sense of continuity and a focus on the long term, a philosophy that imbues every timepiece, built to last. His spirit lives on. It is perpetual. <laughs>